deeper than oceans reaches to me. Unfailing love, stronger than mountains, deeper than oceans reaches to me. In the fullness of Your grace, in the power of Your name, You lift me up. You lift me up. In the fullness of Your grace, in the power of Your name, You lift me up. You lift me up. Unfailing love, stronger than mountain, deeper than. Reaches to me, unfailing love, stronger than mountains, deeper than oceans. Reaches to me. You are my strength, strength like no other. Strength like no other reaches to me. You are my strength. Strength like no other. Strength like no other reaches to me. You are my hope. Hope like no other. Hope like no other reaches to me in the fullness of Your grace, in the power of Your name. You lift me up. You lift me up in the fullness of Your grace, in the power. You lift me up. You lift me up. Unfailing love, stronger than mountains, deeper than oceans, reaches to me. Unfailing love, stronger than. Reaches to me, Your love, O oh Lord, reaches to the heavens. Your faithfulness reaches to the skies. Your love, O oh Lord. Reaches to the heavens. Your faithfulness reaches to the sky. Jesus, unfailing love, stronger than mountain, deeper than. Reaches to me, unfailing love, stronger than mountains, deeper than oceans. Reaches to me, praise you, our glory to you, Savior, Shepherd of our lives, our souls, and you alone are worthy of all. The love that never fails us, the love that never abandons us. Oh, great is Your mercy, great is Your love, Lord. Jesus, we need Your love, we need Your strength, we need the power to stand in Your love. Oh, Jesus, we. 
praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We lift up to you, O God, our whole life today and all our surroundings, O God, all our brothers and sisters around us in this world today. We also lift up to you. We lift up, O Lord, every unfortunate situation and circumstance today. And we praise you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We join the multitudes in heaven this moment, O oh God, to worship you in spirit and in truth. For these are the times, O oh God, you chose that we stand in total faith, believing it is your power, O oh God, that moves in us. It is your power that redeems us. It is your power that transforms us. It is your power, O oh God, that changes all things for our good today. We believe, Lord, in who you are. We believe, Lord, you are here in our midst today. We believe, Lord, you have come, Lord, at this time to deliver and to save and to reveal your mercy, O oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your unfailing love. Unfailing love, stronger than mountain, deeper than ocean, reaches to me. Unfailing love, stronger than mountain, deeper than ocean. Reaches to me Unfailing love Stronger than mountain Deeper than ocean Reaches to me Reaches to me Reaches to me What is Jesus doing? right now Jesus tells us this in John chapter 5 verse 17 my father is working still and I am working and what is this work that the father and Jesus are doing right now it is the work of love inscribing us in the palm of his hands and keeping man in the circle of his love. And so when our early parents moved out of the circle of love, God was working to keep man within the circle. And what did God tell man, our early parents, when they sinned, when they moved out of the circle of love that God is toiling us to be in? In Genesis 3.19, God tells Adam, In the sweat of your face, that is, in toil, you shall eat bread till you return to the ground. That is, to earn one's bread by the sweat of one's brow. So we see, along with the warning of the effects of sin, man is presented with his God-given mission. So the effects of sin and man's God-given mission are closely associated. So as God, as the Father and Jesus are working, work we must. And so what is this mission that is spelled out in God's command to Adam, mission for the whole of mankind? It is a mission to till and to keep the garden. Or in other words, to master the earth by man's activity and his work. So as the effect of sin is closely connected with man's activity, in other words, as the effects of sin are closely connected with man's activity, we, we can say that penance goes hand in hand with man's daily tasks. When people asked Bernadette to whom Mother Mary appeared in Lourdes and the people asked her what Our Lady had told her. Bernadette said, penance, penance, penance. 
And more than ever, we see in this season of Lent, the church defines penance and spells out penance. The need to be set right with God. And Lucia, the seer of uh, Fatima, one of the shepherd children to whom children to whom Mother Mary appeared in Fatima. She writes in the third secret of Fatima that we saw an angel, she says, with a, a flaming sword in the hand. And the sword was flashing and gave off flames. And it looked as if it would set the world on fire. But it died out in contact with the splendor that Our Lady radiated towards him with the right hand. And uh, pointing to the earth with the right hand, the angel cried out in a loud voice, Penance, penance, penance. So what is penance? If the church is reminding us, and in this time of Lent, and making penance so prominent what is penance for that interior conversion that we need to have and this interior con conversion which is called penance what does it seek it, it seeks us to live out we have to live it out the expressions in visible signs it should be visible in our gestures in our work in our works of penance so apart from the three expressions of conversion that we are familiar with, that is prayer, fasting and almsgiving. How is this conversion, that we, this interior conversion that we call penance, how is it accomplished? For example, when we defend justice and right, in, in, in the admission of our faults to our neighbor, and when we correct our brother, the fraternal correction, and when we suffer persecution for righteousness sake, you know, by examining our conscience, in seeking spiritual direction, in all these ways, these are gestures, some of the gestures of this interior conversion that we are meant to have, by which we can be set right with God. And we will receive our reward, the eternal life, when we live in this manner. But we know the surest way of penance is by taking up our crosses daily, that is in our daily state of life, following Jesus. So it's a very good penance to dedicate ourselves fully to, our, to the duties of our daily life, of our everyday life, with that exactitude that is exactly how it's meant to be done, whether it be studying, whether it be working, manual labor or intellectual work and to do it with all our strength. We could be washing vegetables in the kitchen and to do that exactly in the way that it will please God, in a way that we are united with God. We know that this life here on earth it's just a drop of water compared with the life to come and compared with the life to come. This life being a drop of water and the life to come, the everlasting life would be an ocean compared with this life, just a drop of water. The first day we come, the second day we live out and the third day we go away our life here on earth is so short transitory it's passing away but this drop of water that we call here our existence here on earth is so important that this drop of water will decide our eternity and what do we take with us from this world to the world to come we know that our family members will accompany us to the grave but they do not go beyond the grave they return back home so what goes with us beyond the grave 
that is our virtues so we need to ask ourselves i need to ask myself am i living am i working in the vineyard of the lord which typically means am i living a life filled with virtues yes i have faith but is that faith translated into virtues because that's the only thing i can take past the grave the only thing that that will make me gain merit for you know for we know that here on earth we live by faith and hope because the moment we die we see god and there's no question of faith and hope because faith is the assurance of things hoped for and the conviction of things not seen so right here now we do not see god but when we die we see god so there's no question of faith then right now we live by faith and hope and there is merit when we live in the season of faith and hope so whatever we do now has merit so my dear brothers and sisters whatever work you are engaged in as your hands are at work let your heart be with god and if we seek our own conveniences while serving god in whatever we do we're not serving god but we're serving ourselves so sometimes the tasks at hand will not be as per our liking would not be according to the special talents that we cherish we may use all our goodwill and sincerity to do the work and yet we may be misunderstood and more trials in the form of misunderstandings misgivings could be heaped onto us and so would be continue working even though when it is burdensome to work continue working the work of love working because we want to please god in what we do we know one earns paradise with one's daily task and jesus we know as he worked in the modest carpentry shed in nazareth you now jesus did two things mainly he came for the redemption of man and he worked for the glorification of god and those 30 plus years that he was associated with the carpentry shed working with his foster father saint joseph he did not work any less for the redemption of man in that carpentry shed as he was eating sawdust amidst his work neither did he do any less of redeeming man he worked as much as when he was giving those profound sermons as when he raised up lazarus as when he went about in the 3 years of his public ministry so jesus by his work has sanctified labor and so in your work you sanctify yourself and you are called to sanctify the the work and the world around you those you work with will be sanctified and this is your calling and my calling and in this we live out our penance we remember the voice of command that was ringing in paradise genesis 3:19 in the sweat of your face you shall eat bread till you return to the ground this mission that god has given us that by mastering the earth by means of our activity and work we will work out the effects of sin our work will be one of the best forms of penance that we can undertake that which we engage in day in and day out offer it to god let it be a work of love let it be a sacrifice of love a work done not through compulsion
but make it a sacrifice. Make it a work of love, the work of God. So let's bring all the brokenness that we share in our spear work, whatever tribulations we're going through, the difficulties, the boredom that we encounter as we work, the brokenness we face in being unable to reach out to you, our loving Savior, in the moments of our work, in our workshops, in our factories, in our office spaces, when we cannot be your visible face to those around us, when we compromise with easy ways, corrupt ways, justifying it, using euphemisms, covering it up, using fancy words to cover up sin. In our sphere of work, Lord, see us in our brokenness. We are broken as a result of it. And we have not used our work as a penance that you intended it to be, that we may be free once again. Come, Lord. Pieces broken and scattered, and mercy gathered, mended and whole. Oh, take this heart, Lord, I'll be your vessel, the world to see your love in me. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. That saved a wretch like me I once was lost But now am found Was blind but now I see Oh I can see you now I can see the love So down, raising up the broken to life. You take our failures, you take our weakness, you set your treasure in jars of clay. So take this heart, Lord, I'll be your vessel, the world to see your life in me. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now. Was blind, but now I see. Oh, I can see you now. Oh, I can see the love in your eyes, laying yourself down, raising up the bread. So great is your love that saves the lost, that opens the eyes of the blind, that we could see. Oh Lord, we desire to see, O oh God, your greatness, your power manifest its great glory in our lives today. Raising up the broken to life, Lord, as you laid yourself down for us, Lord, to rise again, to give new life to us, oh Jesus. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Once was lost, but now am found. Was blind, but now I see. Oh, I can see you 
amazing grace how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me Ooh, I once was lost but now am found was blind but now I see oh I can see you now oh I can see the love in your eyes laying yourself down raising up the broken to Lord, in the Gospel of John, you said in chapter 5, verse 20 to 24, For the Father loves the Son and shows Him all that He Himself is doing. And greater works than these will He show Him that you may marvel. For as the Father raises the dead and gives them life, so also the Son gives life to whom He will. The Father judges no one, but has given all judgment to the Son, that all may honor the Son, even as they honor the Father. He who does not honor the Son, does not honor the Father who sent Him. Truly, truly, I say to you, He who hears my word and believes Him who sent me, as eternal life he does not come into judgment but has passed from death to life oh Jesus how great is your love your works oh God are evident in all our past circumstances and situations faithful to your word faithful to your will oh God and your mercy and your love you came to free us, Jesus. So great is your love. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Ooh, I once was lost, but now am found. Was blind, but now I see. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now am found, was blind, but now I see. Oh, I can see you now. I can see the love in your eyes Laying yourself down Raising up the broken to life You said, Lord, in John 10, 14 to 18 I am the good shepherd and I know my own and my own knows me as the Father knows me and I know the Father and I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep, they are not of this fold, I must bring them also and they will heed my voice. So there will be one flock, one shepherd. For this reason the Father loves me, because I lay down my life that I may take it again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down of my own accord. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it again. This charge I have received from my Father. Lord, you are the author of life the foundation of our existence. Lord, 
the source of all joy, purity, power, righteousness. And your mercy flows today to free us, O oh God. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now am found. Was blind, but now I see. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Ooh, I once was lost, but now am found. Was blind, but now I see. Oh, I can see you now. Love in your eyes, laying yourself down, raising up the broken to life. Thank you, Jesus. You expired, Jesus. But the source of life gushed forth for souls and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O font of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a font of mercy for us. I trust in you. O blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a font of mercy for us. I trust in you. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a font of mercy for us. I trust in you. Our Father who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your great love that reveals to us the power of salvation. In the Gospel of Luke, chapter 3, verse 6, you desire the salvation of all flesh. And there is none you desire to see lost. So great is your love that gathers that waits, that is patient. Today we lift up all those, O oh God, who have lived their lives, all of us who have lived our lives in a very hasty manner, not looking up to you and your great love for us, missing out on the plans that you had for us, for our good, and not for our destruction. 
for our welfare, Lord. Lord, let all the plans that you had from all eternity regarding all your children who call on you, who come to you, even at the various moments of their life, may understand the power of your love and receive from you the instructions for life and be empowered, O oh God, to be witnesses following you with all our hearts, our minds, and our strength. Eternal Father, I offer you the body divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ in atonement for us for those of the home world for the Sorrowful passion Have mercy on us And all the whole world For the sake Of the sorrowful passion Have mercy on us And all the whole world For the sake so have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful. who do not submit in their lives, they do not submit to any authority, any God-given authority. And Lord, in the negativity that they live, they pin their hopes only on this present life. And so they are filled with hopelessness, a life without purpose, of deep depression and dejection, for they do not see the life to come and its rewards. Lord, have mercy on them. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. 
for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world lord you revealed as the suffering servant in the book of isaiah came into this world lord to suffer in our place as you reminded the disciples three times of how you would be mocked scourged spat at ridiculed and killed but on the third day you would rise thank you lord for giving us a new life we bring to you all the suffering that they may receive the power to keep their eyes on you and be strengthened lord with heavenly joy with a peace that surpasses all human understanding and the love that bubbles in their heart lord which no one can take away or no suffering can remove today we pray for all the graces of oh god in the lives of all the suffering and all those suffering today that they may be empowered with heavenly experiences in the times of suffering eternal father i of body and blood so and divinity of you dearly beloved son our lord jesus christ in a tomb for us and those of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion
pray for those who because of their past misgivings of the church authorities those called to represent your church here on earth because of some misunderstandings some preconceived notions that they have they have in their minds they have stopped coming to the church and so the devil has succeeded in their falling away from the church in drawing them away from the sacramental life which is your font of mercy and grace and love Lord we pray for these our brothers and sisters to be reconciled to you in that they return to the church Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world lord we bring to you the sick all those who cried out to you in their various sickness and they came to you, they waited for you, received your mercy. Lord, at this time, all your children who are tired, O oh God, of the various ailments that they have, Lord, which could not be healed with all the medical science understanding, O oh God, could not be properly diagnosed. We pray for those today struggling also to understand the viruses of our times and the various strands, Lord, strains. And today we also lift up to you all those mighty God today in the research field that they may be empowered, anointed with a new understanding. 
You know, O oh God, everything. May the power of that understanding, Lord, come to those in this world appointed to discover, O oh God, for the benefit of all your children and their healing. We also pray for those suffering because of the various attacks of the viruses upon their bodies. We pray for healing. We pray also for miraculous healing for incurable diseases at this time. We pray for the outpouring of your spirit and power, Lord. Heavenly Father, as you send your only begotten Son into this world, we could see your desire was even the sick to be touched and healed was in your great plan. All those who called upon you, all those who cried out to you, O Jesus, you never denied them. O Eternal Father, let your healing, let your healing love fill this world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood so and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sin, for those of the whole world, for the Sorrowful passion and mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion and mercy. Sorrowful passion and mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion and mercy. Oh 
and on the whole Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will which is love and mercy itself. Lord, we bring to you every need at this time and we ask for the Holy Spirit the power of God promised the power that abides in us let the power of healing descend on all those today we are crying out to you oh. Holy Spirit rain developed a white patch on the body, you've been trying to console it, uh, conceal it surrender that to the Lord there is another sister who is suicidal place your hope and trust on Jesus who brings to us endless hope someone with a hip that is dislocated the Lord is blessing Patricia, Noira, Fabian is being blessed. Someone with a shoulder problem, the Lord is touching that shoulder. The Lord is strengthening the muscles in the knee and thigh area of a person today who finds it very hard to walk and today we also receive the graces that the Lord is pouring out the Lord is revealing Stella, Freddy you are being filled with the power of new joy which the world can never take away the Lord is also straightening out the lives of many today who are calling upon Him and truly repenting in their heart. The Lord is filling with the power of righteousness. Thank you. Joan, the Lord is speaking to you at this time. The Lord is strengthening a person's shoulder and healing the shoulder of all the pain. The Lord is pouring out His mercy and the Holy Spirit upon many today who are praying and asking for even gifts, charisms and the fruit of the Spirit. The power of the Holy Spirit is coming upon you. You can feel it in your body, in your heart at this time. Thank you. Holy Spirit, rain down, rain down. Holy Spirit. Jesus. Jesus. 
Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. 